Welcome to Greater Good Radio Hawaii, where leaders inspire leaders. Greater Good Radio Hawaii is dedicated to social entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Evan Leong, and with me is my co-host, Carrie Leong. Thank you, Evan. Today's guest is John Webster, Director of the Hogan Entrepreneurial Program at Chaminade University. John held communications and government relations positions in IBM in the United States, Europe, and Asia for over 20 years. Please welcome to Greater Good Radio, John Webster. Welcome to our show, John. Thank you, Carrie. Evan, good to be here. Could you tell us a little bit about the Hogan Entrepreneur Program? Okay, this is a program at Chaminade University. It's four years old. We're rec- we've just recruited our fifth class. And it's a program that's funded by the Hogan Family Foundation in Los Angeles. That is a foundation that grew out of a company called Pleasant Holiday. And many of you have heard of Pleasant Holiday. That was started by Ed and Lynn Hogan. And they sold that business to the Automobile Club of Southern California a number of years ago, started a foundation, and engaged in a great number of philanthropic activities. But one of the things they're doing, they're, they're really committed to this notion that, that through commerce, a lot of the social problems of the world can be solved. And so one of their objectives is to provide entrepreneurial support as well. So they have given a grant to Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington, and more recently to Chaminade University to start and, uh, and, and structure entrepreneurial programs. And so that's what we've done. We're into our, as I say, into our fifth year, and we're very fortunate to have their support. Your program, though, is a different slant, though. It's, you're actually slanted towards social entrepreneurship, though, aren't you? Not s- slanted, Evan, would be an overstatement, but we certainly do a lot of that. And for perhaps for a variety of reasons, Chaminade University, Small liberal arts college, 50 years old this year, rough, just less, than, just fewer than 3,000 students, but a, a Marinist, uh, a Catholic university with very, with fundamental concerns for social programs, very involved in issues of social justice, things of this nature. So it's natural that an entrepreneurial program at Chaminade would have an interest in social activities. Also, if you think about the the kind of student that we would find in Hawaii, a very significant percentage of those students will find their way back in to the to the social sector, the nonprofit sector, possibly government sector as well. So what we're trying to do is prepare Chaminade's better students to leave equipped to start and do new things. Now, for some it may be the traditional entrepreneurial route, but for others it'll be in the nonprofit area or perhaps even in government. So we're really trying to address all of those sectors. Now, is it really difficult to get into the program? It is. Uh, and we try to make it that way. As I s- said a minute ago, we're really after Chaminade's better students. You have to have a B average or better to get in. You have to be a junior, a senior, or a grad student. You have to have a reasonably uh, rigorous interview in which through that interview we try to gauge whether you're serious about this entrepreneurial leadership program. And I've just injected the word leadership because that's really a lot of what we're about as well. And so we want to be sure that the student is either has a demonstrated background in in leadership or some newfound genuine interest in the nature of entrepreneurial work. So in your opinion, you think entrepreneurship can be taught? Because there's a debate going on, right, whether it can be taught or whether you're born with these uh, skills. Well, you know, it's a little bit of both for sure. But for sure, if we provide the skills we're going and the tools, we're going to go a long way to taking those that are innately entrepreneurially focused and give them better equipment to succeed. For those that maybe wouldn't routinely think of themselves as entrepreneurs, maybe a a new flame will flicker, and we think that uh, we're addressing some of the things that are going to help that flame grow. So I think it's a little bit of both, Evan. What type of activities are the students involved in that would ignite this entrepreneur spirit um, or want to get more involved in the community and nonprofit sectors? Yeah, and not exclusively nonprofit, but but to answer that question, well, you know, they all many of our students are already working, so they come sometimes with full time jobs already while being a student. So a number of them have a fair amount of a certain level of business experience coming in. 
uh, what we try to do is make sure that they have the tools to succeed as entrepreneurs. So needless to say, we teach basic entrepreneurial courses. It's any major. We welcome students from any major. And in fact, more than half of our students are actually non-business majors. And we find them doing very well. You would think the business students would have a bit of an edge, but uh, not necessarily true. It's a, it's a very nice uh, blend of and diverse blend of uh, student backgrounds. So we want to give them the tools. And we do that in two courses, fairly traditionally entrepreneurially focused, and yet, for example, our basic entrepreneurial course is taught by a social entrepreneur. Uh, you, perhaps you know James Koshiba. He's my classmate. Classmate, okay. Mm -hmm. And Three Point Consulting, and right. James works very closely with us, and we'll be teaching what we call our 301, our junior level entrepreneurial course. And so for the business-oriented entrepreneurs as well as the social entrepreneurs, James provides exactly the kind of underpinning that we're looking for. Then in addition to those skills, our tools, we really want to focus on skills because, as I said, this is a leadership kind of program. Many of Chaminade's students are first-generation colleague students, and we're really, we're really geared to making sure that they don't just graduate, that they really have something extra to go out there and make a difference, and that's what we're striving to do here. So skills, for example, we have 13 three-hour skill development workshops, which added together give three credits of coursework, and we do that to, in their first year in the program. And those are taught by Hawaii's best trainers, the same kind of skill development you'd find in any good management training program. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.